let's discuss about electrostatic induction the topics which we are going to deal in this gtech video will be electrostatic induction followed by capacitance of a conductor and also we'll be dealing about the principle of a capacitor along with that we'll be discussing about the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor and the dielectrics and polarization under that we'll be having the subtopics that will be polarization of dielectric material capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with a dielectric medium and we'll be discussing about the topic called as effect of dielectric finally we'll be discussing about the applications of capacitors under that we'll be dealing about capacitors in series capacitors in parallel energy stored in a capacitor and finally distribution of charges on a conductor and action of points let's first discuss about the electrostatic induction it is possible to obtain charges without any contact with another charge they are known as induced charges and the phenomena is that is the phenomena of producing the induced charges is called as electrostatic induction so it's used in electrostatic machines for example we can say the van der kraft generator and capacitors so here is the depiction of van der kraft generator if you see about this electrostatic induction there are some steps which has been involved in charging a metal sphere by induction the first step is there is an uncharged metallic sphere on an insulating stand you can see here parallelly how it has been defined and depicted when a negatively charged plastic rod is brought close to the sphere so you can see here the plastic rod is over here which has been brought very closer to the sphere now the free electrons move away due to repulsion and start pulling up the farther end and the next step is that the near end becomes positively charged due to deficit of electrons so if this process of charge distribution stops when the net force on the free electron inside the metal is zero generally this process happens very fast and the next step is that when the sphere is grounded the negative charge flows to the ground so the positive charge at the near end remains held due to the attractive forces after that when the sphere is removed from the ground the positive charge continues to be held at the near end and when the plastic rod is removed the positive charge spreads uniformly over the sphere 